Do you guys want to hear the weirdest thing? So this morning I heard Theodore starting to wake up. So I came out to the kitchen, I made him a bottle, and then I went to go get him out of the snoo and I realized that it wasn't on. And then I checked the app, cause like last night when we put him to bed, it was definitely on and even like soothed him once. And so I checked the app and apparently the snoo turned off at like 10.45, which means that he slept from 10.45 until like 5.45 this morning without the snoo rocking at all. Isn't that incredible? Um, I would, well let's, let's not have a bar now cause you had a bar earlier, sweet boy. It's almost time for school, baby. 15 minutes until school. You want cookies? Okay, we can have some cookies. Can you get a cup? Where's the cup? Cup, cup, cup. Here, can you hold that cup? Okay, we're just gonna have a few because it's almost school time, okay? There. I think that's a good amount. You have those, honey, okay? Because we're gonna have a snack at, with school, school time snack. So yeah, apparently Theodore slept from 10.45 to 5.45 with no rocking at all. And like secretly deep down, I had a feeling that he didn't actually need the rocking while he was sleeping at night because he is a really, really good sleeper. But it was, it was crazy. It was so cool because he could have totally woken up at 10.45, but he didn't. Jeff said that he thinks that the power must have gone out. Yeah, last night we were having a lot of really heavy wind, so he thinks maybe the power went out for like a second and that was enough to shut this new off. But there you go. So, hi guys, good morning. It's 9 a.m. Jeff, Jeff, Hugo has his second day of virtual school. I'm vlogging back to back days. Hugo has his second day of virtual school today. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it goes better than it did yesterday. And yeah, he'll have school and um, We'll see how the rest of the day goes. I'm I'm hopeful that every day is gonna get easier. Look at me, Keep it, keeping it optimistic. Um, and then the other things I wanted to do today were um, put away Theodore's newborn clothes. I can't believe it. I took out all the newborn clothes out of the drawers and um, they need to be packed away. So I brought, we have the bins. I'm gonna put the newborn clothes away. And then I wanted to share with you guys a haul I, over the past couple weeks have been buying Hugo some like new, spring slash summer clothes and so i thought i'd sit down and i just love hauls i love sharing with like little little clothes with you guys so i'll share that with you too um and yeah all right i'm gonna get our little school set up ready let's hope it goes better today five minutes until school wait yeah. what <laughs> what are you not listening five minutes until school <laughs> Hilo just finished and he did such a good job. So the beginning was a little rough. It was the same like crying, but I think it was more so yeah. that he just didn't want to like stop doing the other things that we were doing. Yeah. Yay! But he did such a good job. Yay. Wow. You did such a good job at school. Mwah. Oh my goodness. He wrote his name was Play-Doh. He did such a good Hi, job. Yeah. yeah. Well, now we can play. And mommy's gonna tidy a little bit. Also, Theodore went down for a nap during their like break time, wow. which was amazing. Wow. Cause then I got to do the second half with him. Wow. wow. And he's still napping. Mommy's, mommy's winning today. Hooray. Okay, Hugo is down for a nap. So I figured now would be a good time to put away the newborn stuff. A weird tissue. Um, these are all of his little newborn clothes. I can't believe it. There's not very many, but they we actually did get some really good use out of them because Theodore was so small for so long. And what's really nice is that I feel sad about packing these away, of course, but I feel really happy that we get to pack them away because that means Theodore is growing. And obviously that's been a bit of a concern over the past few weeks. So I'm gonna get to packing these away. These freaking bins are stuck together. Oh, annoying. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's pack these online. Until next time, maybe, right? Or the massive pile of laundry that still needs to get done. But there we go, all the newborn clothes are packed away. That was super easy and super quick. 
So both the boys are napping. I thought now would be the perfect time to sit down and share with you uh, like a mini haul. I picked up Hugo over the past two weeks of just spring and summer clothes. I find that shopping a couple months before the season is actually the best. Last year I remember desperately looking for like little boy toddler tank tops while we were in summertime and that was like such a lost cause. So I went to Once Upon a Child I went to Target and then I did an online order from Gap. So I'll show you everything I picked up. And the stuff from Once Upon a Child and Target, I already took off all the tags. So unfortunately, I can't tell you the prices, but I just got these things. Um, and they have been sitting in the hamper for a few days. So if they're a little wrinkled, that's why. Um, I got this at Once Upon a Child. And oh my gosh, Aerosmith is my favorite band. So when I saw this little toddler Aerosmith tea there, uh, my mind almost... <laughs> fell out of my head this is a small children's tea and it says Aerosmith so I don't know if it's like I don't know where it's from but it's so cute love also picked this up from once upon a child I think this was like a dollar or something insane but like I said anytime I see like cute little toddler tank tops I think for the summertime these are the best and that's from that's children's place and then this was is this the last thing no there was one other thing that I got it yeah, once upon a child. Okay. Uh, this is Baby Gap, little like three quarter length top. This is a size five. I pretty much got everything in a size five because that's the size Hugo is growing into. And I just find like with t shirts, they always shrink. And he always likes to wear his t shirts and his tanks a little bit looser. Um, this I just saw and thought it was so cute and such a good deal at Once Upon a Child. And then this was the last thing I got there. This was again a dollar and I thought it was adorable. It's the brand Jumping Beans. Little Pluto on the front. So that was everything I got at uh, Once Upon a Child and then moving to Target. <laughs> so Target had out all of their t-shirts and like a lot of their summer stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen like they have all their swimsuits out. Hugo loves a good graphic tee. He loves snakes. So I grabbed that. And then we also have this T-Rex. I am not, I actually like love, I know some, it's not very like Instagram-y to like get your child graphic tees. But I mean, this is just amazing and I will take a graphic tee any day. I thought this was the most adorable t-shirt. It says full of sunshine and is just the best. And this t-shirt, I thought this was so sweet with the little pocket. I love this green color for spring. How beautiful is this? It's like a very vibrant mint green with some white. There, it almost feels like a little bit ribbed. It has a little bit of texture. It's so cute. And then I also picked up this t-shirt, which reminds me of one of the shirts I got at Gap. I'll show you guys. This is really soft, so soft. And then the three, this is just such a nice, almost like a little bit more dressed up t-shirt. And then the tank tops I got at Target. They didn't have a huge selection of tank tops. I think they only had four different designs and I got three, three of the four designs. The very Americana with the stripes. And then this blue one, anytime I see anything blue, because Hugo is has like such vibrant blue eyes and sort of very fair skin, this color looks so good on him. He loves tigers. And then this tank with some fun pineapples on it, reminded me of vacation. Maybe we'll get to go on vacation this summer, who knows? And then this is the stuff I picked up at Gap. So this is similar to that t-shirt that I got at Target. The Target one is softer, but it's thinner. So I think this one might last a little bit longer, but just how adorable. And Gap, they're always having sales and like use this discount code for 10% off, 15% off. So definitely sign up to their emails if you aren't already. Love this t-shirt, such a pretty green color. I love greens. On Hugo looks so good and it has dinosaurs on it and little leaves so cute and then we have this tea some like neon green and blues and then two tank tops a gray tank top with a blue ribbing and this is a blue tank top with a blue ribbing so I love those again a little bit thicker sturdier quality than the Target ones but great and then this was what sort of spurred the gap haul because i saw these on gap.com and thought they were so cute they're little face masks and the best part was that i so hugo hates putting on masks hates it and he has to wear them for school so like fingers crossed on all of that but 
I put these on his little face this morning. I was able to like, get it on pretty quickly and they fit him perfectly. I'm sure they're going to shrink in the wash, but they are so cute. So I got a pack of three. I got a Mickey Mouse pack of three. And guys, these were like on super sale. They were like $3 a pack or something insane. And then I got a little Marvel pack. So, I mean, he doesn't know who any of these superheroes are yet, but he will. And then here we have all the Avengers. So I thought that was so cool. So that was our little mini haul. And I do, we got some stuff for, have some new stuff for Theodore too, but it's actually in Hugo's room right now and he's napping. So um, it's 1.15. I'm gonna chill for a little bit longer. I'm actually editing this vlog like as I'm filming it, trying to be as productive as possible. I have a little bit more work to do and I'm sure one of the boys will be up soon. And just like that, it's the afternoon. My current setup here, as you can see, we have uh, my computer, uh, a lot of cords pumping, some milk that I just pumped I'm going to put away, and uh, my phone. <laughs> just motherhood at its finest, right? Look who is so weak. <gasps> Hi, Benny. Yeah, <laughs> that's you. Oh, also guys, I wanted to show you this came in the mail this morning or yesterday. Uh, I just opened it and it's this beautiful piece of artwork from my absolute favorite artist. She has an Etsy store. Her name is Katherine Holman. I will leave a link to her Etsy store down below as well as her Instagram. And I am so obsessed with this. This is an excerpt from um, our favorite, favorite podcast. Jeff and I both love binge mode and it's actually how I found her and this was an excerpt from something that was said on the podcast and it's just so beautiful so beautiful all the Game of Thrones artwork that I have in my bedroom the Lord of the Rings artwork I have that's all Catherine so yeah check her out I am packing up Hugo's backpack or like doing a preliminary pack for his backpack um, for Thursday and the wet bag that I ordered for him hasn't come in yet that matches his little backpack so I'm going to put a spare pair of clothes into a little Ziploc bag and write his name on them because that's what his teacher had requested I'm a spare pair of clothes and because I I'm so over the top. I think I will do one of everything. <laughs> so like one t-shirt, one long sleeve shirt, one pair of pants, a pair of socks, and then also um, diapers. <laughs> so you know, just so we cover our bases. How cute. The little spare clothes and some diapers. And I'll put in this little backpack. I'm also going to throw in a pack of these Bitsy cookies. These are vegan, nut-free cookies. Um, and I'm going to throw a pack of those into his backpack. And I'm going to throw in, I think, one of these bars. I got these little, like, smart bars, I guess. He's never tried these, but the school gives them a snack. So these are just, like, extra spares. So he doesn't like won't actually need need them, but just you know, let's back up in case he gets a little hungry. Um, I also washed the water bottle, so I'll put the labels on those that I got. He was like, "Can you open my snack for me?" Yes, I will. So I just fed Theo, and it's a little after four o'clock. I'm thinking I'm going to try to make some muffins. Hugo loves morning glory muffins, and so I really wanted to make them for his first day of school yesterday, but never got around to it. So I'm thinking if I make them today, hopefully um, he'll be able to have them for the week and it'll be like a nice filling breakfast, especially for the days that he's going in person for the first time. So I'm gonna do this as quickly as possible because I don't know how much time Theodore is gonna give me. He's down on the dock -a tot and I have to do it before I have to start making dinner in like 45 minutes. Cross your fingers for me. Muffins are done, yum. They look great. I am astonished that I was able to do that and I need to now prepare who goes dinner. So I'm actually gonna finish this vlog out here. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. I'm hoping that I'll be able to vlog another day this week, um, but with everything going on later this week with he goes first day of school in person and stuff, I am just gonna play the whole thing by ear. So hopefully I'll see you guys uh, later this week. I love you all and I'll see you really soon. Bye.